Hey, what's up? It's Lazybrain here, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to remove the 4Play limit on your Cube World server. As you guys might know, in the Cube World alpha that's currently going on, <coughs> when you want to launch the server, you go to your um, Cube World folder, which by default is on your uh, in your programs files under Cube World, and you have a server application here which you can run, and this is pretty much your server command right here. Uh, so it works just fine, except you can only have up to four people, which includes yourself, and a fifth people connects. Uh, if a fifth person connects, it automatically crashes it. So I'm going to show you guys how to remove that limit and have as many people as you want uh, on your server. So you can download one. Uh, you have to download one file. It literally takes like a few seconds. It's like uh, 75 kilobytes or so. Um, so shouldn't take too long. Uh, I'm not. I do want to give credit to. Um, the Cube World forum user EP Lightning because he's the one that created the file, so I do not take any credit for them. He's the one that created files. I'm just showing you guys how to make this work. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this link in the description right here uh, to this website. Go ahead and agree and download the file, uh, and that's pretty much all you need. So as you can see, it's only 75 kilobytes. Uh, really, really small download. Uh, once you've downloaded that, you'll have a file called the release, and go ahead and extract those or that file using whatever extractor you have and this is going to give you two files one launcher uh, application and another one is a DDL file both of those you have to uh, move them to your cube world uh, folder in your program files right here I've already done that so it's telling me to replace them but uh, go ahead and put those in your in that folder and now instead of using the server application that you always use for your server simply use the launcher one and you'll notice that the launcher automatically overwrites the values on the fly of the executable. Uh, here it's it's going to find the value of max players and by default it's 4 and it automatically changes it to 127. So technically you could have 127 people on your server, although you do need the hardware to handle that. Um, so the more people, it does use more hardware, the more people are connected to your server of course. Uh, I do not exactly know how it scales, uh, how, you know, how much each person uh, requires for for one slot. I do know that uh, on my server I can get about 25 people on the server before uh, it starts crashing. So um, yeah, you should probably just give it a try and uh, see how much people uh, can you know your server can handle, and then you kind of know how much slots you can go with. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can. Uh, overwrite or I mean edit this DDL and then change the to the value you want if you want to have a max amount of players but anyway at the moment uh, you do need to keep in mind that um, let's say you put it to 20 slots and a 21st of 20 a 21st person <laughs> tries to connect it will still crash your server even if you put a limit so it doesn't really matter if you put a limit or not uh, I prefer just not limiting it and then it will you know, end up crashing, but yeah, whatever, you can just restart it in that case. But anyway, that's how you move the max players value uh, on your server in Cube World. Hopefully you guys found this video useful, uh, useful. If you did, be sure to give it a like. That would be very much appreciated. And if you have any questions, don't feel free to comment down below or send me a personal message on my YouTube. That's fine too. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I'll thank you a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.